All right, you guys, I'm gonna show you how to recover a drone using a net. This is my setup. I've got my Mavic 2 Zoom, about 15 feet of fishing line, and a relatively inexpensive uh, net I picked up on Amazon for about six bucks and a coat hanger. Let's do this. So the drone we're attempting to recover today is a Mini 4 Pro, and we're gonna try to recover it with a Mavic 2 Zoom. I've got another Mini 4 Pro. Uh, fortunately, my wife got the um, DJI Care Refresh Plus for me when she bought this for my birthday last year. So I've already got my replacement, which is this one. I'm gonna put this one up there so we can see the recovery process from its uh, vantage point. And I'll also be running video on the Mavic 2 Pro. All right, guys, success. We got it. Check it out. There it is. Awesome. All right, so that was a little nerve wracking. Um, I was running out of battery on my uh, replacement Mini 4 Pro, had to land that thing, and then made a few more attempts and finally snagged the, uh, the other one that was up there on top of the church. Um, when I was landing, I was trying to video record and made a little mistake and um, caught the fishing line in the, in the prop here. So I'm gonna have to untangle that, but that's no big deal. 
all in all, I'd say this was very successful and uh, good luck if you ever have to do the same. So I wanted to show you guys a little video of the uh, recovered drone. You can see where it impacted the uh, steeple, the church steeple there and broke. Um, looks like I lost the, uh, the surround mount the, or the surround of the camera as well. But aside from that, it looks like um, there's some water coming out of it. So it did get rained on. It's been up there for a couple of weeks. Okay, and over on this side, there's actually some more damage that I didn't see. Uh, you can see some damage there, the cracks there. Looks like this prop uh, was spinning against, uh, or I guess it impacted the steeple as well. You can see some crazing on the plastic there. But anyway, we'll get this back home and see if it even powers up. Oh, and it looks like I lost the uh, SD card. That was one of the main things I wanted to recover actually was the uh, 256 gig SD card. I guess that popped out when it crashed. Um, so did not recover that, but at least uh, I was able to recover it. And I guess the SD card I really wanted is still up there in the steeple. <laughs> I'll show you how high that up that is up there. Um, so that's that little balcony up there is where we recovered the drone from and actually crashed into that cross. I was trying to get some artistic video right after Hurricane Helene and it was a little too windy. Shouldn't have been flying, so I learned a lesson there. But like I said, fortunately I was able to replace the drone with the Care Refresh plan and I guess I'll be sending this one back to DJI. All right guys, good luck if you ever have to recover a drone, but uh, this is one method that works, um, proven. So what I did, I just hot glued, um, well that came off when I crashed, but I hot glued a, an eyelet that I could attach some fishing line to right there in the center of gravity of the drone so it would be relatively stable. And I uh, used a coat hanger attached to about 15 feet of fishing line and that net. And this drone, I believe is, uh, I've seen some videos on YouTube that it can lift about 1.25 kilograms and the Mini 4 Pro weighs right under or right at 249 grams so it's definitely capable of lifting plus the weight of the net and the coat hanger probably another 100 grams there so well under uh, what this drone is capable of lifting so anyway it was a success all right guys thanks for watching bye